afternoon, everybody. Our last, last session of the Wellness Wednesday today is the Cardiac Rehab team, and we have Andrew to take us through the session today. I'll pass over to you, Andrea. Thank you. Thank you. So, hi, everybody. My name's Andrea. I'm one of the exercise practitioners from the University Hospitals of North Midlands. Uh, last time I was with you, it was about three weeks ago, and it was tremendously hot. Um, we, we did very, very little aerobic exercise. Um, it was more sort of postural related because it's too hot to exercise. But now here I am again, three weeks later, it, looking out the window, autumn has definitely arrived. I've had my central heating on this week. So I think it's definitely time to get some more of that um, aerobic exercise back in. Um, so what I've got today for you is some aerobic exercise and music. Um, all the exercises are going to be standing today, but they are adaptable to the chair base if anybody is wanting sit down it's a very gentle session very slow um what i've done is i have some motown music that i'm going to be playing in the background um unfortunately with the sessions being live the music gets a little bit broken up sometimes so if you've got um, a radio nearby pop that on or if you've got some favorite music pop that on because it, it does make a big difference when you're exercising because uh, i use it to keep beat for the aerobic exercises as well um, so before we start, just want to take you through the usual um, safety precautions. So just make sure that you're exercising in a space that's free from clutter and that you're in a well ventilated room and only exercise if you are feeling well enough. I'm going to make sure that you warm up and cool down thoroughly. So that's all part of the workout. Um, so if you try avoid sort of switching on halfway through, um, just take your time building building that activity level up um, and if you do suffer from any dizziness make sure that you stop what you're doing have a little bit of a rest get some air into the room if the dizziness doesn't go away just lie yourself down um, and don't exercise if you've had any recent change in symptoms um, again if you're feeling any chest pain palpitations um sudden new symptoms of shortness of breath that you've not experienced before they are all indicators for you to not to exercise and to to speak to one of your healthcare practitioners about getting those symptoms under control um so all that being said let's get ready to get our heart pumping and get those heart rates going um so i'm going to start you off gentle warm-up it's all based to music um the only Equipment that I'm going to use today, I have a resistance band that I'm going to use because I'm going to do a, um, a short resistance section after the, the aerobics. And then I also have two bottles of water as well. So if you've got the equipment, that's brilliant. But as always, I will be giving you the options to do if you don't have the equipment. So I'm going to get my music on and we'll get you guys warmed up. Okay, so just nice and gentle to start with. We're just going to rotate the wrist around. So just loosening the joints up first, getting our body sort of physically and mentally prepared for some exercise. Okay, and as we rotate those wrists, we're just going to shift away from left to right as the heels come up on the floor. So just a bit of slow, gentle movement. So do make sure you've got some music on that you enjoy listening to. That makes you feel good. It always comes. Lovely. Just roll those hands down. And what we're going to do this time is just roll the shoulders back. So we go. We're just shifting the weight from left to right. Just lifting the heels up on the floor as the tight weights down. Just rolling the shoulders back. So again, really gentle as we get mobilized. Pull the body up. Give me four more. Three. And one. Lovely. Then we're going to take one turn. We're going to tap it down to the floor and then we're going to flex it back up. So just a point and a flex with that heel. We're starting to 
warm up around the ankle. Just a point and raise. And the blade will swap over to the other side. Then remember any issues with balance next to a wall, just pop your hand on that wall, give yourself that extra bit of support. So just heel to toe. Four more, four, three, two, one. Good job. Then we're just going to tap in front, one toe and then the other. Lovely. So I'm listening to all of my Motown classics today. They make me feel good. They get me in the mood for a little bit of exercise. So we're continuing with our warm up here. I'm halfway through our warm up. So our movements are slowly going to get bigger so that we begin to raise the heart rate. So just pointing that turn down and back up again. Four more, three, two, and one. Lovely. Then what I want you to do is hold your hands down nice and loose, and we're going to take it into the steady march. So just a march on the spot. We're going to allow the arms to, to swing loosely, and what that does, that ensures that the shoulders are relaxed and back. If you've got your shoulders sort of punched up to your ears, you're not going to get that loose swing on the hand. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to work our leg movements around the body now. So we're going to be tapping to the front, we're going to do leg taps to the side, and then we're going to do some leg taps to the back. So for this one, I'm just going to put my hands onto my hips, keep my hands out of the way. I'm keeping the shoulders down and loose. Go front side and back to the toes. We're going to do four to the front. Three, two, one. Then we're going to go to the side. Four, three, two, and one. Then we're going to go to the back. Four, three, two, and one. Lovely. To the side. Four, three. Two, one, to the front, four, three, two, one, to the side, four, three, two, one, to the back, four, three, two, one, to the side, four, three, two, one, to the front, four, three, two, one. Lovely arms down, spin them loosely. We'll go back to that mark. Lovely. And then just shake the hands up. Make sure they've not got sort of too tense holding on to the hips. We're trying to keep everything nice, loose, and relaxed. Okay, lovely. So hopefully we're feeling a little bit warmer. And um, if you've got some water with you, just small sip throughout your workout. Make sure you get well hydrated. So we've got a little bit more of a, a difficult sequence now. I'm going to include some, some small, gentle squats in this one. So we're going to put the hands back onto the hips again. We're going to take leg to the side, bring it to the middle, the other side to the middle, and then we're going to do two. Very gentle, shallow squat. Okay, so three moves, leg to the left, leg to the right, the squat. We're going to mix that in with the beat of the music, have a little bit of fun, get those heart rates in. We're going to get into our main workout now. So we're going to be working in that somewhat hard zone, breathing a little bit heavier, keeping the body moving, but still able to hold that conversation throughout the workout. Okay, so hands on the hips. So you're gonna give me left leg in, right leg in, squat, squat, lovely. Left leg, right leg, gentle squat, gentle squat, good. Left leg, right leg, 
Gentle squat. Gentle squat. Good. Left leg. Do right leg. Squat. Squat. Give me one more. Left leg. Right leg. Squat. Squat. Lovely. Now we have leg. We're going to squat from the other side. So you're just tapping your feet. Strong leg. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Lovely, let's change leg. Heel toe. Then feeling that rhythm, keeping that body moving. Heel toe. Lovely, back to that original move. Left leg, right leg. One, two, nice. Left leg, right leg. Squat, lovely. Left leg, right leg, squat, squat. Okay, so just from the side, if you want that support, you can hold on to the wall. Left leg, right leg, squat, and squat. Lovely. Well done. Okay, so we're going to bring arms and legs in together now. So that's going to make the workout a little bit more difficult. If you've already got your heart rate pumped in and you don't want to add the arms in, just go for legs only. And um, if your legs are sort of getting a little bit tight, a little bit achy, you can pop with the arms in. If you get any discomfort from any of these exercises, just miss that exercise out. We don't want you to feel comfortable. We don't want you to feel any ache or pain. Just miss, miss that exercise out. Enjoy back in as soon as you can. But I would advise. Just keep your toes tapping if you are going to miss an exercise out, okay? So you're not expected to be able to do all of these exercises. Just pick the ones you want to do, and in between, just keep those toes tapping. Okay, so we're going to have legs and arms. We're going to start off with a knee raise and a chest press. So knee up, push to the front. Four more, four, three, two, one. Lovely. Then you're going to do a little curl for the bicep curl. Now I'm going to show you all of these exercises from the front, from the back, and from the side as well. Four more, four, three, two, one. Lovely. Back to the front knee release, chest press. One more. Four, three, two, one. Lovely leg curl bicep. Two, three, four. So keep going. I'm just showing you from this way. Two, three, four. Back to the front. Okay, we're back to our knee raise and our chest. Four more, three, two, one. Lovely leg curl bicep. Four more, four, three, two, one. Lovely, well done. So again, if you want to have a little rest, a little sip of water. Keep those toes tapping. We're going to take it into a step together now. So we're going to step to the left and then step to the right. So we're going to go left, then right. Left, then right. Left, right. Left, right. Lovely. So just keep that tap going. Listen to the music you've got on. Feel the beat. Feel your body moving, enjoy the music. Lovely, then we're going to go one leg, we're going to go heel toe again. Heel toe, heel toe. Four more, four, three, two, one. I'm going to stop it, heel toe. Four more, four, three, two, one. Look, we're going to go back to that step together. One more, four, three, two, 
Lovely, take it to a march. Roll those shoulders back. Loosen those hands up. Okay, we're going to bring some arms in with the legs now. We haven't had those arms going for a couple of minutes. We're going to do a bicep curl and knee raise. We're going to do 80 of those. Okay, let's go. So we've got knees and hands. Four, we've done four to go. Four, three, two, one. Then we're going to do an open chest and a leg here. So just opening the chest down as that leg comes back. One more, four, three, two, one. Lovely back to that bicep and knee raise. Four more, four, three, two, one. Leg curl away from the chest down. Two, three, four. Showing you from the side. Four, three, two, one. Back step, knee raise, back step, curl. Four more, four, three, two, one. Leg curl, leg to the chest now. The shape on the back, what we're doing. So leg curl, chest opens out, two more. Good leg, back to your knee, high five, step curl. Four more, four, three, two, one. Well done. Shake those arms up, shake those legs up. Again, if you want to drink, make sure you've got some water with you. Little sips of water, keep yourself hydrated. Okay, so that's the highest intensity that we're going to sort of take the exercises to today so what we're going to do now is a little bit of a gentler tune now and start to bring the heart rate back down whilst keeping the body moving nice and gentle so what we're going to start off with is just a side test opening and closing the hands so just make use of that space that you've got relaxing the shoulders down just the side path. Okay, then what we're going to do, we're going to bring those box steps back in that we were doing before. So two taps to the front, two taps back. We're going to do it nice and gentle. Okay, so we're going to go front, front, back, back. We're going to do four of these. Three. Back. Last one, four, four, and back. Lovely. Then we're going to go tap together, tap together. So we're using that same box step that we used before, but we've just taken the effort level down a little bit now. And the reason we're taking the effort level down is we're going to do a, a short resistance section. And we want to make sure that we go into that with the heart rate not too elevated. Nice and easy. Step together. Remember, have those breaks when you need them. Okay, I'm going to do box step. Here we go. Front, front, back, back. So this time I'm leading with the right leg this time. Back. Back, front, front, back, back, front, front, back, back. Lovely. Then we get it into the side and now. So just gentle, really steady, aerobic moves. So we're just bringing the heart rate down a little bit at the moment. Mini cool down. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna get ready for that box step again, and we're gonna lead with the left leg in a minute. We're just taking it nice and steady, not allowing the heart rate to drop. Yeah, touch. Okay, let's go for that really steady box step. We're gonna lead with the left. So we're gonna go front, front, back, back, front, front, back, front, front, back, front, front, back. Two more, front, front. Back, back, one more, front, front, back, and back. Lovely, just relax the shoulders and roll the wrist. Wrist down and roll the shoulders. Lovely, give you that step together. I do hope you've got your own shoes on at home, having a little bit of fun with that music. Lovely. And then bring it to a stop now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do our resistance section. So this is the one where we need our little bit of equipment that we've got them. So I'm going to be using a resistance band. Um, so if you have a look on Amazon, uh, most sports shops are these sometimes they're called resistance bands, sometimes the Sarah um, they're all the same thing, just a little bit of elasticating material to give you a bit of extra um, resistance workout. So what we're going to do is do 20 repetitions of each exercise. Each exercise is going to be done with the resistance band and now with the bottles of water as well. So if you've got a nice wall, you can do 20 with the water or 20 with the resistance band. Or if you've got both, you can do it with me, 10 with the band, 10 with the wall. Okay, so first one is going to be our band set curl. So what we're going to do is just to put the band underneath our toes. Taking an underhand grip of the resistance band, and we're just curling up to the shoulders and back down. I'm going to do 10 here. Five more left. Four. Three. Two. One. Lovely. I'm going to do the next ten with my muscles and muscles. Underhand grip each hand. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, six, one. Lovely, that's your biceps. We're going to do a leg press now. So, first 10 with the resistance band, second 10 without. Go for this one. Again, if you just We'll wrap that resistance band around that foot and you're just pushing down. So quads, hamstrings, and glutes, I'll show you from the side. Pushing down. Five more there. Lovely. And then on hooking that resistance band, we're going to swap over to the other leg because we don't want to be left lopsided. So let's hook it around that leg. Lift it up. We're going to do 10, pushing down. Now, again, I know you see me doing a little bit of wobbling there. I'm not the best one in the world for balance. If you're the same, hold on to the wall there, pushing down, and back up. So 10 on that leg. Or if you've got good balance. This is Two more. Left hand, lovely. Okay, and your version without the band is going to be real big to the front. So, from the side, one leg flat on the floor. We're just bending. Lovely, 
Okay, leg press. Let's go, let's have ten, nine, eight, seven, from the side, six, five, four, three, two, one, and who's got that book? Let's go to the next leg. Take it down, last of ten. Let's go, push down. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. From the side. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Lovely. Upright row is next. We're standing both feet on that resistance band. Gripping the hands, we're bringing the hands together, lifting up and back down. Ten, let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, strong shoulders. Three, two, one, well done. Okay, on two. This time we're going for our side leg. This is our inner and active side exercise. So again, just to wrap that band all the way around the foot. Holding with both hands, out to the side and back in. Ten, let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, from the side, three, two, one, lovely, one hoop, drop it round. So remember with these exercises, I'll definitely do not be disheartened, this is someone who does eight pain that you want to miss out, that's fine. All I'm doing is giving you a mixture of loads of different exercises. If I was there with you, I'd be describing them individually based on your needs and what you can and can't do, taking into consideration any um, muscular or joint problems. So don't be disheartened if there's anything you can't do. So again, let's go for 10 on that other leg. Are we ready? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Lovely. One move. Nothing wrong with missing a few extra hands and if you need to. Absolutely fine. That is sensible. Okay, if you're keeping up with them, well done. Brilliant. If not, remember, miss them out. Do it back in when you can. Okay, triceps. Are we ready? Ten. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Super. Swap that grip around. So we're coming onto the other side. Looking with a hand. Are we ready? Turn, try up. There we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Last one with the band. It's our rotator cup. We've got our hands underneath, underneath the wrist. We are keeping these elbows here fixated into the side of the body. And then we want to do our open, close, open, close. So you're just moving those hands a couple of inches, that's all. Don't forget to smile. Four, four, three, two, one. Super. Good job. So we're going to do those same exercises again. We're going to do it with the water bottle next. So remember, have a little, little breather. Have a little sip of water if you need it. So if you're on that fluid restriction, just a small step, remember. Okay. 
water bottles in hand. Are we ready? Last little bit of our resistance session, kind of everything. We already know the exercise, we're just trying to go at all of them. We're doing 10 each with the bottles. So feet hip width apart, shoulders relaxed back and down, chest proud. We're going to do our bicep curls. We got 10. Don't forget to smile, don't forget to breathe. Are we ready? Go. 10. Nine. Seven, six, five, four, two, one. Lovely. Okay, so the leg press. What we're going to do this time, we're going to add a little bit extra in with the water bottle. So this time, we're just holding the water bottle at the side as that heel goes forward. So this is what we're doing for our leg press with no resistance band. So we've got the extra weight, we're holding the water bottles. Three more, three, two, one. Lovely. And on to the other leg, are we ready? Ten there, ten. Nine. Eight. Seven from the front, six, five from the side, four, three, two, one. Lovely, well done. Upright row this time. Feet tip with the palm. Bring the bottles up towards our chest, pack and back down again. Are you ready? Can you do? Ten. Nine. Thank you. 
cool down when we finished our resistance action. So we're going to have a little bit of cool down, a little bit of relaxation, and a little bit of stretching as well. So what I want you to do is to just stand with your feet about hip width apart, just popping your hands on your hips. And all I want you to do is just shift away from left to right. Just a little bit of a gentle movement. We're going to start bringing that heart rate down. So from the side, we're just lifting one leg up. And then we're just shifting that weight from left to right. Four more of those. Four. Three. Two. Lovely. And then just a gentle toe tap in front, just pointing that toe out. Lovely. And then take those hands off the hips, relax them down, roll the shoulders back with each step. Okay, lovely. Just rotate those wrists around in one direction. So we're trying to get our breathing sort of back to our normal breathing pattern now. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And then change the direction of those hands around, take them around the other way. And relax them down one foot. Let's do a little bit of a circle that side. And then take it round the other way. That's it. Relax it down, swap over. Round one way, draw in a circle with those toes. And then take it in the direction. Okay, lovely. Now I'm just going to stop my music now as I do a little bit of relaxation and a little bit of wind down. So what I'm going to do is just relax the shoulders, relax the body, drawing the shoulders back and down, feeling the weight of the fingertips, pulling those shoulders down. And then I'm just going to tilt the chin in towards the chest and then just feel a mild stretch onto the back of the neck and into the shoulders. Now I'm going to lift that head up. I'm going to take the ear down to one shoulder. Again, almost as if you've got little, little weights on the tips of your fingers that are pulling that arm down as your ear goes to your shoulder. Mild stretch, we're just feeling it down the side of the neck here and into the shoulder. Well done, back to the centre. Okay, we'll go the same on the other side. So. Feel the little weight on the fingers, pulling the arms down as the shoulder goes down onto the ear. And this time, more after that, mild stretch on the other shoulder. Good job. And back to the centre. Then we're going to draw one arm across the body. We're just going to hold on to the upper arm and then pull that arm across. So, what we're feeling for now. There's a stretch, we're just getting it on the back of the shoulder there. So from the back, drawing that arm across, keeping the shoulders down. And just breathing into the nose. Out through the mouth. And relax it out, swap it over onto the side, draw one arm across the body. Just holding onto the upper arm, relax the shoulders down. Pull that arm in towards your body. And then breathing in, gentle into the nose, out through the mouth. And again, into the nose. And out through the mouth. Lovely, relax that one. We're going to do a little bit of a stretch in the calf now. So we're looking at this area here, back of the lower leg. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both hands on the wall and I'm just taking one leg back. Now, the leg that's back, I'm pushing the heel into the floor. And what I'm feeling for is a mild stretch down that part. If I can't feel a stretch, then what I'll do, I'll just shuffle that leg back a little bit further. And there I've got it now. So I've got a stretch in that lower part. And you're just leaning against the wall for support. And then once you stretch out that leg, back to standing, swap over, let the other leg go back, heel down towards the floor. Gentle lean on the wall, pushing that heel down towards the floor. I'm getting that mild stretch on the calf. Lovely, and I'm bringing it back in. So just to finish, we're going to take a big breath in through the nose, and as we breathe in, we're just going to lift the arms up, and then we're going to exhale that down. And last one, big breath in, and exhale that down, and give yourselves a clap. Well done. So we've got back into it there. We've just had a good. A very big splash into music, a little bit of resistance with the water bottles and, and the resistance band, and then a nice little stretch and pull down at the end. So I hope you've managed to stick with me. Hope you're all feeling well. And we will see you all again next time for Wellness Wednesday. Well done, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Andrea, for that one. I know a couple of the members have bought resistant bands over the past few weeks. So I'm sure they'll have found that one really, really useful to know how to use them properly. They are a good buy when you're exercising at home. Really good yeah. buy. So well done. Thanks a lot. Take care. See you soon.